Hey everyone, this is Uthris, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. I've been pretty excited to get back into this. You know, we had a rather successful early start on getting kind of the entryway, kind of a light shopping area, uh, just something so people can have food and drink as they walk into the town uh, and park area, just because it is quite a long walk, just because of how this map is laid out and how we're trying to set out the path to try and make the slopes as gentle as possible so people aren't climbing basically a mountainside. And in between episodes, I have been busy on this little plateau and trying to decorate it, trying to get, uh, you know, keep building up the theme and atmosphere of, of it being like a, a pirate's paradise slash kind of uh, hovely conglomerate of just rubble and little shacks around this area added a little i guess you could say dock area um this is just of course for a fact it's not like anything could actually dock here considering there's no water or any type of airship that i could probably make and yeah it, it looks pretty cool just a little bit of detail even adding a little path down here i guess people could wander down here but really i've, I've been noticing the people they don't really, in my opinion, explore just looking at scenery or things like that. I kind of wish um, there would be items that we could place down for like viewpoints or places where people would go to do something uh, just on the path rather than uh, just using the path to go to their next point, you know? Anyways, uh, we have, yeah, plenty of little details on here, some cranes and things. We have, you know, a little lifeboat, some ammunition for the... A cannon uh, and it is supported by like arches and things like that here that's kind of embedded off the hillside a little bit of a warning to anyone that might make these people angry a little bit of a hut here uh, kind of want to add something that might look like furniture of course another little pirate camp these things um, are pretty cool you know it just adds that little bit of free detail we have a nice Kind of grand fountain that the road wraps around you know something a little bit more central uh that way you know at least it, it's very pretty and uh, it gives quite a sight for the people when they uh, make this long journey into the main park area and then as you go over here there's a bit of a cave um with a wrecked hall kind of shoved in the middle of it and it looks like they're just having some goods and things stored in that area i will be putting some homes and things and huts kind of embedded into the hillside and little paths kind of sneaking their way up but that's something i'm going to be doing in between episodes in my own time anything kind of like this that's just kind of filler details is going to be in my own time when we're actually constructing buildings and stuff that'll actually be part of the episode most likely but just throwing in this in my opinion is just uh i don't know it's up to you guys if you want to see this this kind of stuff being laid out but it's pretty straightforward you just fill it full of junk and make it look like it's actually used for something all right uh what we want to do though this episode is i want i want to build my first coaster and uh get maybe the main building kind of laid out for it like the station and everything so what i'm going to do is place it Kind of close to this hillside kind of tucked away a little bit our first coaster is going to be called uh, smugglers run and it is going to be going back kind of through this valley here and then that's probably its fastest point it's coming through here and it'll be doing some weaves through some rocks and stuff so uh, I haven't really done much with the coaster editor and I'm gonna be probably not amazing at it, but we are going to have to learn anyway. Uh, the, the final kind of stuff is probably going to be when, once you go through the valley and up around, uh, we might end up snaking through. There's some caverns over here that it might snake through and finish, so. Let's go ahead and get started on this thing.
All right, everyone, so this is as far as we're going to get on Smuggler's Run today. It was quite a process to, one, get this freaking coaster to even work, and then, two, uh, I'm still learning the ropes of decorating and getting buildings laid out. You know, it's all, it's all about being able to combine structures and clip them into each other in certain ways to get the effect that you're looking for. And right now, I don't really have a lot of practice in doing so. And that's really slowing down uh, really what I want to do. But uh, you can see kind of where we're headed on at least the station area and kind of the Smuggler's Cove and stuff. We're going to have kind of these amalgamation of buildings kind of crammed into each other. Very kind of just mixed and matched to create facades. And uh, this is kind of the theme we're going to be working with going forward uh, just this stone kind of for the lower levels and then the plaster for the upper levels and then occasionally we'll mix in this white and blue just uh, for a bit of a color palette change these white pillars they're, they're just a test to see kind of what block combinations I can do that is going to be changed as well probably something to match uh, just the overall stone look a little bit better and that stark white here because it just seems really out of place um a lot of this area is just you know it's, it's just part of a, a harbor this is kind of like a trading post or something like that and you know the, the queue line has a little bit of a covering uh awning area just to keep people in the shade a little bit and yeah i i decided to keep the station kind of uncovered and make it more of a front uh porch kind of front uh, unloading loading area for the warehouse here and I'm okay with that uh, I might end up throwing maybe a little bit of something over it who knows but right now you know everything's working this path here is just temporary just so people can get on and off the ride uh, eventually I'm going to snake this back up uh, through the smuggler section that way people can like go to shops and stuff afterwards and it'll connect right back up to another main road section. And since the roller coaster is here, we can go ahead and give it a, a whirl. Now, granted, it's not really the the most finished state by any means. So you guys are going to have to take it with a grain of salt. You're not going to have all the views that it's going to have at the end of the whole build process. So, you know, just keep that in mind. I would usually probably skip this part since it's not really finished, but I'm sure I'm going to get a million comments to ride the damn thing. So here we go. We are going to take this thing for a spin. We're sending a few cars back and uh, you can kind of see the main entrance and how that looks from down here. You know, the other dock area on that side. We are just gaining height. I have not been on a roller coaster, by the way, since probably since I've been 10. And I'm like 26 years old now, guys. Like, I have not been on one of these in so long. And then uh, I would love to go on another one. But hey, here we go. First drop. It's a doozy. And then we uh, go pretty much straight through the warehouse out the other side. It's kind of just a simple up and down uh, roller coaster. I didn't want to do any crazy intense stuff because really uh, my idea with with smugglers run is it was supposed to kind of feel just just streamlined quick kind of this these smooth um, winding pathways uh, oh all the way through here is going to be decorated and everything it's going to have like little shanties and stuff and look a little back alley-esque and then we come through and back around so I think that's going to do us for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. If you all enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe. If you have any suggestions on themes or anything like that, let me know down below. I'm always looking for, for good stuff from you guys. And it also, you know, connects us a little bit. So you guys feel a little bit more involved in the builds. Anyways, uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.